International Superstar Soccer. Welcome to another great game of football. If you like action, you're in for it. Moving quickly to take the... And there... Argentina rammed it in. Argentina takes the lead. the replay. yellow strip is so distinctive he's making a run the shot has hit a defender the goalkeeper is organizing his defense they could bend this around the wall In. Brazil are ahead. <laughs> Look. 
Let's see that again. The pitch is in perfect condition. Good afternoon, football fans. Martin Williams here once again to give you the action as it happens. And now a former member of the English national team, Terry Butcher, is joining me. Thank you and a good afternoon, everyone. Terry Butcher here. And today we'll bring you an exhibition match. Today's match is Argentina against England. Here's the kicker. So Terry, can you tell us a little about the formations that the teams are using? Oh, he's tripped him. Free kick. The crowd watches on the edge of their seat. One of the world's best free kick takers has taken up his position. What do you think, Terry? It's close in. Let's just see what comes next. you how that last goal was scored again. Out of the keeper's reach. Teams come out wearing their traditional colours. Okay, so let's see who's in the starting lineups. First, France. Next, Netherlands. Using that space. He shoots. And it's a goal! What a brilliant goal! Okay, let's take a look at that again. France, will they be able to hold on? ロンバルディアコロシアムより映像をお届けしています。フットボールフリークの皆さんこんにちは。ジョンカビラです。これが本日の対戦カードです。さあ、前半戦が始まります。画面に向かって左から右へ攻めるのがアメリカ。赤いシャツ、青いパンツ。ロベルトカウチ。
A refreshing breeze is blowing across the pitch. Here with what you football fans have been waiting for, this is Peter Brackley. We'll be watching an exhibition match. We're joined by our game analyst, Trevor Brooking. Welcome to the game, Trevor. Hello and good evening, everyone. The starting 11 should be announced at any moment. And both teams are led onto the pitch by their captains. Let's see who we have in the starting lineup. First of all, the home team, Catalonia. Then the away team, Navarra. That was great. It's gone behind him. That wasn't offside, was it? Hits it! And he's got it! Goal! Catalonia! They've scored at this early stage of the game. Well, let's just see that again. Catalonia. They can't stop concentrating even for a moment if they want to keep this lead. We've kicked off for the first half. He's got the ball at his feet. He found it. It's a strong goal. Patrick Collins has it all. Score the first goal. the free kick brilliantly they've got the opening goal Trevor how do you think it will change the game now well hopefully it should make for a more open game their opponents can no longer just sit back and hope to nick a goal that's not real right let's watch that again Brazil have taken the lead with the opening goal do you think they can hang on Trevor well they've got the players to win but there's still plenty Portugal. I'm delighted to welcome along Trevor Brooking, who will be providing expert analysis on today's game. Yeah, thanks, Peter. It's a pleasure to be here. The teams are having their pictures taken. The screen shows the expected formation. We're off. Let's check the sides now. Playing from the right will be Portugal. Playing from left to right are Spain. Would an attack down the right side be worth it? Slides a pass into the open space. Still got a lot to do from there. It's intended for the target in the middle. Yes! They broke up the deadlock. He really got behind that one. There's a frenzied atmosphere in here. That just underlined the quality of their attack. Let's take another look at the goal. Do you think this will open the game up now, Trevor? Absolutely. It should make things a lot more interesting. Good evening. Tonight's match is just about to get underway. Trevor Brooking will be watching it with me. Evening, Peter. Some great players can come out onto the pitch. It should be quite a classic. Time to get started. Florida creating a 
tremendous atmosphere. Playing from the right will be AC Milan. Playing from left to right are Barcelona. Stamp. Gattuso. Pressure on the defence now. Now they split the defence wide open. Yes, it's in, number two! They're in such a commanding position. A beautiful right foot finish. At 1 0, the game was still wide open, but at 2 0, you begin to feel this might be a winning lead. It was a superb ball in behind the defence. Yes, it's always hard to defend against a team that can play that kind of football. Brooking is with me, Peter Brackley, for this afternoon's match. The players and officials are getting ready, so a few words, Trevor. Good afternoon to you, Peter. And there's been much talk about today's game before it's even started. Let's see how it plays out. And Scholes. Here's Rooney. Well cleared, a crucial interception. And it's there! They've taken the lead. Super shot, what a beauty. The team came up to us and leads their massive following here today. Could he have put it any better? Here's how the goal came about. Let's hope it's not the only one. They've taken the lead. Well, the game is opening up from here. Let's see how the opposition... Espero que veamos un partido rápido con intensidad y muchos goles. No permiten que el rival se apodere del balón y controlan bien el partido, como se puede ver por la seguridad de sus pases. ¡Gol! 2 a 0, ahora estaban dominando, les han sacado una buena distancia y ahora se tomarán un respiro, supongo. En ese gol, la combinación entre los dos salió perfecta, ¿eh? Su carrera estuvo en perfecta sintonía con el pase que recibió. Una vez que llegó al balón, solo tuvo que meterla ya. Dos, cero. La ventaja es ahora más cómoda. Bueno, justo lo que el entrenador esperaba en el descanso. Hola y muy buenas noches, el clamor de los aficionados es ensordecedor en el momento en que salen los jugadores Y aquí a mi lado está la cabeza pensante del fútbol, Maldini Gracias, ¿sabes una cosa? Me gustaría estar ahí abajo jugando esta noche Pero bueno, veamos ahora qué nos ofrece este partido Estamos ante un partido con dos equipos de máximo nivel Además cuentan con todas sus estrellas, todos están disponibles, el espectáculo está garantizado
Bueno, bueno, qué partido nos espera. Esto va a ser maravilloso. Un encuentro del que se ha hablado durante toda la semana. Toda la ansiedad y la tensión previas al partido se han disipado con el pitido inicial. Los jugadores de ambos equipos conocen sus responsabilidades y saben muy bien qué es lo que tienen que hacer. Tiene la portería tiro. ¿Te ves? Gol, 1-0 en el Ecuador de la primera parte. Han logrado marcar, ha llegado el primer tanto del partido. A ver, ¿alguien tenía dudas sobre lo que iba a pasar cuando agarró la pelota? Nadie, ¿eh? En cuanto le pegó con la derecha, solo había un lugar donde podía ir a perder. La atmósfera ciertamente es única. Los dos bandos están listos. Las barras van con todo en la tribuna. Señor García, ya viene preparadísimo. Saluda a la gente porque viene un gran juego. Gracias, Martinoli. Es interesante ver a las alineaciones titulares para este partido. Había algo de especulación sobre los suplentes y titulares. A final de cuentas, aventaron a los mejores. Nos espera un muy buen juego los dos equipos. Hoy están, pero que arden. Verdaderamente los técnicos se conocen de memoria. Y determinantes arriba si quieren conseguir algo. Ahora podría centrar. Lo envía al área. ¡Gol! su gran actividad y rapidez en el aire. So, here we go then. Argentina against Portugal. Behind the microphone, John Champion and Jim Beglin at the Giuseppe Meazza Stadium. Well, what a wonderful setting we've got for this game, John. The atmosphere is absolutely fantastic. So, let's get down to business. Good running off the ball, putting the pressure on. Now an opportunity to cross. There's the opener. They've got their noses in front. Oh, I thought he showed his class there in beating the defence and the goalkeeper from the near post. I'm John Champion, Jim Beglin's the co-commentator for this, and we're at the Santiago Bernabeu. Well, thanks, John. Hello, everyone. Well, I hope you're looking forward to it as much as I am. This could be a real cracker. And here we have Real Madrid against Paris Saint-Germain. Cristiano Ronaldo. It's a super effort, this. What a run! And he's gone all the way! He gets his team off to a flyer. That's the star dreams are made of, and that has to give them great confidence for what's to come. A wonderful piece of dribbling, and he deserves the end result. Well, I thought I had decent technical ability until I saw that. He looked as if the ball was on a string. Sensational. Alô, senhoras e senhores, já estamos nós no Estádio da Luz em Lisboa. Eu sou o Silvio Luiz e cá comigo está ao meu lado o comentarista Mauro Beto. Olá, Silvio, é um prazer de ofício estar com vocês para um jogaço de futebol.
E começa a partida, rolou o melão. De graça, bonitão, de graça. Gostei, gostei dessa bola enfiada por baixo. É... Foi, 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 foi dele. O time voltou para o jogo, parece que eles acordaram. Está tudo igual de novo, o placar fica em aberto. Hello and welcome from the Estadio da Luz. So, here we go then. Atletico Madrid against Real Madrid. I'm John Champion and analysing this game for us is Jim Beglin. It was a passionate affair, this Madrid derby. Real have the upper hand historically, but it's always a tough one to call. Atletico Madrid against Real Madrid. That's just great pace to get back in position from Bale. It's through to Diego. Now Koke. Koke in need of support so he can get into the box. Gabi. Looking to carve open the defence. Takes a shot. And the chance accepted with some aplomb. We finally have the goal that this game needed. Well, what can you say about that goal? Diego is the obvious danger man here, and yet he was afforded way too much freedom. I think he was gifted that goal. His reputation should have been warning enough for them. Así que esto es Brasil contra España. Amable público, los saluda Chris El Partidol y, y les brindamos el mejor análisis del mundo con el doctor García aquí a un lado. Saludos señor Martinoli, estoy sumamente contento de andar desparramando talento junto a usted. Rechazado el peligro de inmediato. Fernandinho la maneja en largo. Intenta un pase raso al espacio. Tiene una linda chance de gol. Bien, así se hace. Ahora pierdo la ventaja a dos goles. Qué gran centro, ¿eh? así de fácil es el fútbol. Así es como se cabecea un balón, con temple, convicción y grandísima técnica. Hello to all of you from this Brazilian city of Belo Horizonte. This is the Mineral, the home of two proud footballing institutions, Cruzeiro and Atletico Mineiro. And here we have Barcelona against Real Madrid.
This is Peter Drury, and next to me, providing insights, will be Jim Beglin. Hi, everyone, and thanks, Peter. It's great to be on board. Well, you can feel the sense of occasion here. El Clasico, one of world football's great occasions. No rivalry more intense. Tony Kroos, Bale, Cristiano Ronaldo, Benzema, tasked with scoring goals. And that gets things running. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Um, Pepe may well need to be at his best. Passes it through. Danny Alves. Tries to swing it in. And he's there to get rid. Goal! Two to the good! They have breathing space! Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with, and to find it, I think it was a fine drive, and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance.